guys, beach friends. Hope you had fun coloring. If you haven't yet, um, be sure to do that before you go to the next step. Um, we need to paint or color with markers or color with crayons or cover the owl with colored, cover the plates, I should say with um, colored paper, okay? So after you're done coloring, then we're ready for the next step. And that's where we're going to use our scissors safely, right? Always. Okay, and um, of course the biggest thing in the owl, besides the wings, are the eyes, right? Okay, so let's look at the part for the eyes. This paper that I printed out for you, we can fold it in half so we're just looking at the parts we're going to use for our paper plate owl. Okay, so remember these shapes are what? circles, right? The big circles and the little circles and the beak or his mouth is a triangle. So if you haven't colored, oops, sorry, leave these white, okay? But the beak needs to be colored. I made mine orange, okay? All right, so these all need to be cut out after you've colored the triangle. And you can see where the white circle is going to go. And of course, the beak for the triangle. And um, like I said, you can either use your cupcake paper for the outside. And remember, usually cupcake papers are light on the inside. So we actually flip it around so that the nice colored part will show when you glue those on. Okay, so once you have the eyes ready, there are two things that mommy can, or daddy, or your family member can help you with on the paper plates. So on the back, there's two things we're going to do because we need to cut them. Of course, to make the wings, we have to cut the plate in half. So have your friend, your helper, draw your line in the middle so that you can cut it with the scissors. And once you cut halfway through, because it can be a little hard to cut on the line when you get halfway through, you can turn it around and cut the rest of the way through. Okay, so whoop, that gives you your your wings with your two halves, okay? And then this part is to make the tufts of feathers that are like the, the um, owl's ears, okay? He's, those aren't actually his ears, like a cat's ears, but they're tufts of feathers on top of his ears. And on my friend the owl, you can barely see where his ears are and those tufts. And um, in this picture of the owl, you can see where his tufts are above his ears. And in this other book, there's a great picture of a big horned owl. They call it a horned owl because of those tufts of feathers right there, okay? All right, so um, I'll send your mom a picture of this so that she can help you draw that on there. And once it you have that she has drawn it for you, then it's easy to chomp 
from the end, chomp, and chomp right on the lines, just like that, okay? And once you have that done, it will look a little bit like this with the little tufts. Really makes it look owl-like. <laughs> All right. And um, one thing I forgot to mention, when you're ready to put it all together, you're going to need your family member's help with the staple. Because that's how we keep the wings up there. And if you're very careful, you can even, that's how you attach the wings on the back, on each side like that. If you're very careful, you can even make him flap his wings a little bit. <laughs> Pretty fun, huh? Okay, so be careful when you're when you are putting on the eyes to glue with the the colored circle on the outside and the white circle in the middle because that's a little bit smaller so you have a big colored circle a middle sized colored circle and the little black circle goes in the middle, the very middle, okay? So be careful when you're putting those on. First, that big yellow one, or whatever color you choose, the big circle, then the white circle in the middle, and then the black circle. So have fun and send me a picture of your cool flying owl. Hey, that reminds me of another joke. Oh my goodness, Chewy, you've got another one for us? Yeah, this one is kind of about Halloween and trick-or-treating. Is that okay? Of course, because we see a lot of owls at Halloween time, huh? Because they, they can be kind of spooky the way they swoop around so quiet and make that hoo-hoo sound, right? <laughs> okay. Here we go. Uh, what do you get? <laughs> oh, oh, sorry, I forgot. Okay, what did the owl say to his friend the owl when they went trick or treating? Uh, I don't know. What did the owl say to his friend the owl when they went trick or treating? Happy Halloween! Oh, that's a silly one, Chewy. <laughs> okay, uh, well, it's time to say goodbye, friends, and we're going to come over here in the living room to dance with our friend Alvin the Alligator. Because he, he has a fun dance for you. So be sure to get up out of your chair so you can trot with Alvin the Alligator. There he is. <laughs> Here we go. Good. Okay. Oh, uh, excuse me. Yes, Chewy. I got one more joke for you. Oh, no. One more joke? I can't imagine. Yeah, we need... We need... Alvin, to help me with this one. Oh, you got to be kidding me, Chewy. Yes. <clears throat> Come on, Alvin. You can help him out. Okay, ready? Knock, knock. Who's there? Who? Who, who? Who? You sound like an owl. Ha, ha, ha. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Chewy is pretty silly, huh? Okay, ready? This is our see you later alligator. So you can practice your L speech friends. Alligator. See ya later, alligator. See you later, Alan.
alligator. That's the wild crocodile. See you later, alligator. That's the wild crocodile. That's the wild crocodile. See you later, alligator. Okay, speech friend, we'll have one more story before it's the end of the school year, okay? So I will see you later real soon. Bye.